Okay, group here, we're still on page 22. We're gonna do numbers five through eight of our split the middle practice. So um, right here we have 5, 17, and 14. Those do not have a GCF, so we're ready to roll. We'll do 5 times 14. That gets us 70. So we know that we're going to be multiplying to 70 and adding to 17. Sometimes when you get those bigger numbers, it might not be a bad idea to um, grab a calculator. Um, so here we need to add... Um, and subtract here because we have a negative, um, I'm sorry, we need to have either two positives to get to 70 or two negatives to get to 70. However, since we're trying to add to a negative number, we're going to have to do two negatives. Two negatives here, okay? So negative 1, negative 70, those don't add to negative 17. Um, negative 2 and negative 35, those do not add to 17. Um, let's see, 70 divided by 3, nope, that won't be nice. Oh, 7 and 10, negative 7, negative 10, those will add to negative 17. So that's going to be our two numbers, okay? So we'll keep our outsides the same. And then we're going to split that middle term of negative 17 into negative 7. Make sure you keep that x there because then 17 had an x. And then the negative 10 will also have an x. We'll do our fancy grouping method. So between 5x squared and negative 7x, the only thing that we can um, factor out is an x. So here we're dividing by x on both sides. So we'll be left with 5x there and a negative 7 here. Those two x's will cancel out. Negative 10x and 14. Since there's a negative that's leading here, we're definitely going to be factoring out a negative number. 10 and 14 have the biggest GCF of 2. Negative 10x divided by negative 2 is 5x and 14 divided by negative 2 is negative 7. So our parentheses are the same, so we're good to go. So 5x minus 7 will be one of our answers, and then our GCFs will make up the second part of our answer, which is x minus 2. Okay, number 6. We'll have 6y squared, negative 13y, and 5. Those don't have a GCF um, other than 1, so we're good to go. 6 times negative 5 is negative 30. So we want to add to negative 13, multiply to negative 30. Oops. So we will need a negative and a positive number here. So negative 1 and 30 don't add to negative 13. Negative 2 and 15, those don't add to negative 13. That adds to positive 13, but we could try negative 15 and positive 2. That would get us there. Negative 15 and positive 2 would get us there. So we'll split our middle term into negative 15y plus 2y. Keep our ends, so keep the negative 5 keep the 6y squared, and then we'll do our grouping method. So in our first set, looks like we can pull out a 3y would be our GCF. So we're left with 2y minus 5. Okay, here you might notice we already have a 2y minus 5, and that's okay. They have a GCF of 1. So we'll pull out a 1. Our parentheses are the same, so that is the first part of our answer. And then the second part of our answer will be 3y plus 1 from our GCFs. Okay, number 7. 2, 14, and 12. Hopefully you see that these have a GCF of 2. So we're going to factor out our GCF. Ok, 
okay? Now, we're going to do split the middle with the inside terms. So what's really nice is because that x squared has a one in front of it, I don't have to do the whole split the middle process. I can find two numbers that multiply to six and add to negative seven. So if we multiply to six, we know six and one multiply to six. However, we need to add to a negative seven and these add to a positive seven. So if we make both of those negative, then that will add to a negative seven and it'll multiply to a positive six. So our two numbers will be negative six and negative one. Okay, number eight, six, 19, and 10, those only have one in common, so we don't have any other GCF here. So we're gonna multiply our outside numbers, six and 10 get us 60. So we're multiplying to 60 and adding to negative 19. So if we do six and 10, um, six and 10 would give us positive 16, we're gonna need a negative number. So since we're doing negative numbers, we're gonna need two negatives when we're doing this. So those will get us to negative 19. Um, negative, ooh, maybe negative four. Four and 15, there it is. So negative four and negative 15 will get us to negative 19. So we're gonna split that, negative 19x into negative four x minus 15x. Okay, we keep our plus 10 at the end. We keep our 6x squared at the front. And now we can do our grouping method. Okay, so here our GCF will be 2x. So we're left with 3x minus 2. Here we start out with a negative, so we know that our GCF is going to be a negative number. Um, and five goes into both 15 and 10. So here we're left with three X minus two. Our parentheses are the same, which is always a good thing. And then two X minus five, our GCFs make that second part of our answer.